What do you want to be when you grow up? The word doctor, it's Latin in origin, and it actually means teacher. And that's because they're an educator. This is how to become .tv. I'm Christina Vlahopoulos. I'm a naturopathic doctor, and I practice out of the Kingston Integrated Healthcare. What excites me most about the profession is when I have a person who comes to see me, they've gone through years of with a condition or with an ailment or, or feeling a certain way, and they say, I feel so much better. That's really when what excites me. And it's eight years, four years of naturopathic medicine and four years of undergrad. I guess the obstacles is specifically the education itself. In the second year, we had exams every day, five days a week for three weeks straight. So it really is a question of endurance. You really have to make sure that you're taking care of yourself while you're going through the education. In undergrad, people take five courses, maybe six per semester. Um, at the naturopathic college, we were taking anywhere from seven, eight, nine, not only taking the didactic portion or the in-class time, but also the uh, practicum portion. It really felt right when I got to the school and when I started doing the program, and probably by my second year, I really felt comfortable and this is it, I'm home. When you're done, it's just a phenomenal feeling. So um, why a naturopathic doctor? Um, growing up in a family where we used more alternative forms of therapy, um, my dad using an onion poultice on his foot, for instance, and my mom using a potatoes um, and a handkerchief around her head for a headache, um, it made sense when I found out about the school and when I found out about the college. Um, having an interest in biology and environmentalism, the two sort of fit together with respect to naturopathic medicine because it looks at the whole body. I guess the biggest difference between conventional medical doctors and naturopathic doctors is naturopathic doctors go for what's called root cause or getting a better understanding as to why a person is exhibiting the symptoms and not just treating the symptoms themselves. I would do absolutely nothing differently. This is exactly where I would be. What do you want to be when you grow up?